All right, guys, we are looking at the second part of Section 9.4, Part 4. And here is our goal. We want to use a calculator now to solve these problems to the nearest hundredth over the interval from 0 to 360. So this means, will you erase the board for me, please, Claire? That little part that's up there. So this means then that I want to solve these in degrees. So go to your calculator, turn it on, go to your mode, and make sure that your calculator is in degrees. Make sure your calculator is in degrees. Nothing else matters, we're just checking for that degree right there. Now, here's what we're trying to do. We're trying to find what are the angles that have a sine value of 0.6. So what it means is 0.6 is going to be the ratio of y to r. Since we're thinking of the unit circle, r is 1. So really, we're just thinking where on this circle, what is this angle that makes this y value 0.6, okay? So the way that we solve this is we have to push inverse sine. That's what we push on our calculator. The inverse button is this second key. So it's going to be the second that we're going to push. So we type in second sine of 0.6. These are not going to be exact answers. See, up to now, if I gave you this problem, I gave you a number like 1 half, radical 3 over 2, or um, radical 2 over 2. I gave you one of the special triangles. 0.6 is not a special value. So we go ahead and type it in. Second sine of 0.6. And there's the angle measure, 36.87. So one of the angles then is 36.87 degrees. That's one of the angles we get. But that is not the only quadrant that's going to have sign of that value. Which other quadrant is going to have a positive y value besides the first? The second. So there's also an answer in the second quadrant. The reference angle has to be the same. So this angle right here has to be 36.87 right there. How would I find the angle then in standard position that starts here and goes around and ends right there? How would I figure out that angle? Subtract it from what? 180. So my other answer then is going to be 180 minus 36.87. So a quick way to do this is 180 minus my last answer. I just go up and get it, and it's 143.13. Those are the two angles that will have a sine ratio of 0.6, those two angles, okay? All right, what if we have a cosecant problem? Well, there is no second cosecant on the calculator. It'd make it a little bit easier if there were, but there's not. So I have to change this into a sine problem. To change it into a sine problem, I have to do the reciprocal of this. So I have to do 1 divided by 1.2690. I have to change that into sine by doing the reciprocal. And now to type it in, we do, we're looking for an angle, so we put in second sine of 1 divided by 1.2690 and we get this angle. So to the nearest hundredth, it's just 52 degrees. 
So one of my answers is 52 degrees. But which other quadrant are we going to use besides quadrant 1? Quadrant 2. So find the answer in quadrant 2 with a 52 degree reference. What is it? 128 degrees, good. So those are going to be the two angles that will meet that requirement of having that cosecant ratio. Okay? What if it had been cosine? Where would I have put the angle if I had a positive ratio and it were secant or cosine? Where would I then have to put the other angle? Not in quadrant two, but in quadrant four. Good. All right. It's cotangent. What do I have to change cotangent to? So I have to do tangent theta, and I have to do the reciprocal. So 1 divided by negative 1.23212. So we do second tan 1 divided by 1.23212, and we get this answer. Oh, I forgot the negative. Hold on. I just went back and inserted it. Now, here is what I want to point out. Our answers have to be between 0 and 360 degrees. Is negative 39 in between 0 and 360? Which quadrant is negative 39 degrees in? Quadrant 4. It means I'm starting here and I'm going in this direction. And I know this angle is 39.06. But that answer that the calculator gave me is going in the closest direction. It's not even giving me one of the answers. If you said the answer is negative 39.06, you wouldn't get anything right. That's not right. First of all, the answer is not in between 0 and 360. So how can I make it correct by going in this direction instead? Good. So I'm going to do 360 minus 39.06. So one of my answers for my angles, I should use approximately on that, is 320.94. That is one correct answer. Which other quadrant is going to have tangent negative besides quadrant 4? Quadrant 2, good. So I'm going to go to quadrant 2. And I'm going to have that same reference angle of 39.06. That reference angle doesn't change. So now we have to find the angle that starts here and ends there. Figure it out. And the other angle you get should be 140.94 degrees. Did you guys get it? All right. All right, getting a little bit more difficult. We're kind of building on everything that we've got here. Now we have to use a calculator to find theta to the nearest hundredth between 0 and 2 pi. The calculator cannot give us an answer with a pi in it. We have to understand that 2 pi is the same thing as 6.28 radians. So right here is 0 radians, and it's also 6.28 radians. Right here is 180 degrees, which is how many radians? 3.14. What about right here? That's pi over 2. Do you know what that would be in radians? 
Good. Pi over 2 is 1.57. And then right here is what? 3 pi over 2. So that's 4.71 radians. All right, so we got to kind of switch the way we're thinking. Every answer we come up with has to be between 0 and 6.28. What do I need to change my calculator to? Go to my mode, make sure that I'm in radians. And then to find this angle, I'm going to have to type in second or inverse cosine of 2. Now I want to show you what happens here. Second cosine 2. Look what happens. Why do you think I'm getting this happening here? What, what do all the cosine values on the unit circle have to be in between? Negative 1 and positive 1. Every point on the unit circle has to be in between there. Because remember how when we have the unit circle, the radius is 1 and we just keep going around it? So therefore, this is going to have no solution. That's kind of nice. There's no solution to that. All right, now let's do one that does have a solution. What am I going to have to change this to? Cosine. So to change it to cosine, I have to do um, cosine theta equals 1 divided by this. So we're going to type in, clear it all out, second cosine 1 divided by 3.0789. And here is our answer, 1.24. Is this 1.24 degrees? No, it's 1.24 radians. Where is it then in the unit circle? Which quadrant? Quadrant 1, it's right about there. Okay, so one of my answers then is 1.24. Which other quadrant is going to have cosine and secant positive besides quadrant 1? Quadrant what? 4. Quadrant 4. So I'm going to have to go to quadrant 4 with the same reference angle, 1.24. How do I find the angle that starts here? and goes around like that. Good job. I'm closest to the 6.28 radians, so we're going to have to do 6.28 or 2 pi minus 1.24 and it gives me 5.04. Does that make sense? Is 5.04 in the fourth quadrant? It's in between 4.71 and 6.28, isn't it? So it makes sense. All right. Last one here. Second tan, I don't have to flip it, of negative 1.1653. You can also put tan to the negative 1, arc tan, all of it means the same thing. Second tan... And I get this answer, negative 0.86. What does that mean, you guys? Which quadrant is that angle of negative 0.86 radians in? Quadrant, quadrant 4. So it means instead of going in the positive direction, I'm going in the negative direction on this angle. So this angle is negative 0.86, but it's still just, I'm just going to call it a 0.86. The negative is just telling me the direction. It just means that instead of going up, I'm going down on that. But that is not going to be the correct answer because we have to have all of our answers between 0 and 2 pi. This answer is not in between 0 and 2 pi. So how am I going to find it? Subtract it from what? 6.28, good. So I can do 6.28 minus that reference angle of 0.86 
And so one of my angles is going to be about 5.42. Do we know which other quadrant we're going to need to be in to get this? Quadrant what? 2. I need tangent negative. That's in quadrant 2. I still have the same reference angle, 0.86. How do I find that angle from there to there? I have to do pi or 3.14 minus 0.86. And my other answer is 2.28. Okay? Does it make sense to you how to do those? You're going to have to practice it and then check your answers as you go to make sure you're correct.